Yo, what's up everyone? It's Will Fox with another Under Night and Birth piano tutorial uh, breakdown video. So thank you guys for the suggestions. Um, so I have extra files on Patreon and anything that you guys contribute to the channel goes back into the channel and it helps me create more stuff and use new sounds and all that stuff. Okay, so a few notes about the song. This song is in A minor. So no sharps or flats, but the cool thing about this song is that we actually introduce one flat um, sometimes, which is B flat. Which is uh, comes from the Phrygian mode, but that's not super important. And we also introduce um, G sharp. It's going to be mostly all white keys, but just remember that you're going to be centered around here at all times and again there's going to be oh i actually lied we actually use um f sharp sometimes so uh i'm not sure if the software on screen by the way i'm using a software called called cordy and it shows all of my inputs and um all of the chord names and even the the notes on the staff so um Sometimes it might be inconsistent with what I say. Listen to me, don't listen to the software. The software is just a computer with no software. The intro is pretty fun. Uh, I'll talk about the chord progression or at least the bass. I, I tend to just play the bass and then just the, uh, the riff with this hand. But it's just um, A to C to F to B flat. That's where we get our first B flat. Or that's where we get our first flat at. So instead of B natural, just B flat. Everything revolves around A. So um, the right hand is just going to be playing like. And then you're just going to be using this. um doing the exact same thing right there when you're on the C. And then when you go to F, you're going to be moving up here um, uh, to a... Yeah, I would play like this. So... Um, whatever you think sounds better. I think that sounds better when you just uh, pedal the, the D with your thumb right here. That's just the intro. I believe it plays four times in the original track. Um, by the way, it's called Beat Eat Nest for some reason. I guess that's what he does. But um, that's just the intro. So moving on to the first section of the song. The first section of the song is pretty... Um, you play you play the same thing over and over, and then there's just one little variation at the end. The, the chord progression slash bass will be the same, like A to... Um, C to F to B, B flat. And you're going to be playing. So I might add chords with this uh, right hand, but I'll, I'll strip that away for right now. That's it. That's all you do. You just keep doing it. And then the last time I'll get there when I when I get there. But you could also play it where you complete the chord so you can connect. So that's another way to do it if you want to be more piano with it. And you can even like. Um... I gotta keep remembering that you go to the tritone. I just wanna finish this. I naturally just wanna finish this uh, chord and then play from there. But you gotta remember that you're gonna be playing like this tritone. So tritone is just equal um, distance. Okay, let's talk about the variation at the end. So all you do is make like an E, you go to E instead. So um, to uh, F, and you can even like 
do like that, but you could just stay on E. Um, I would just stay on E major, and then you play. Um, I think it's D. Yeah, it goes to D. Okay, so I'll do the next section. So the next section um, of the song, uh, the chord progression goes F to G to A minor to D major, which is where we get that uh, F sharp from. So instead of D minor, we raise that to, to F, F sharp. So we play D major instead. And then we, we just keep doing that, actually, if I'm not mistaken. So your left hand is just uh, going to be um, started from six. Yeah, it's probably just going to keep doing that. So um, as far as the melody is, ooh, I wouldn't do it like that. Sus on the on the A to the, uh, to major. So the last time you go um So your left hand could do that too. So very common movement where you uh suspend and then you resolve. So that's why it's called sus. Um, that's the that's the second section. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So I'll talk about the third section. Now the third section of the song, I'm kind of like rushing through this one because I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, if there's any uh, questions or anything, um, please let me know if I'm going uh, too fast. But I don't have too much to really say. Um, it's just like uh, just learn the progression and then just learn the melody and then just just notice whenever you're using anytime you see a black note in the song, which is the cool thing about uh, A minor and also C major, that anytime you see a black note, that should raise your eyebrow like something happened. It's so this happens in in every song in every key, like there'll be like new notes introduced. But when it's in this key you know instantly when there's like a black note that something happened so it's like the easiest takeaway um so this section um i think it starts from seven so from g oh the chord progression is a bit different here too so it's um f to uh e you can play seven um and then you go to a and then you're gonna want to play f sharp diminished or you can even play like G like that. Uh, excuse me, you can even play D like that. But the most important note is like this F sharp. So um, I've interpreted that in two different ways. It's probably just F sharp diminished. It's probably the safest. I'll just, for argument's sake, I'll just commit to that. Um, and the melody is... Um, Which is funny because we have another black note. Um, we use the tritone here. Um, and to finish the chord. that last section with uh, a little cleaner i'm going i'm doing this as i go by the way <laughs> but um the last time you play it is um um
and then it goes to the next section. Um, so just master the chord progression slash bass line. And again, you could finish the chords with the right hand. Ideally, as a pianist uh, specifically, you would like to do that, which is something I'm learning to do more. Um, but the lead is in there too. It's usually like the top note, the melody note, and then you just like do whatever and then do another chord. Um, okay. So for the next section of the song, I don't even know what to call this. Do you call this a bridge? I don't know. Okay. This, this part's pretty cool. Um, the same, I, I believe it has the same chord progression, like, um, Maybe D sounds better in this one. And then you just stay on A. So we have... Um, Okay, so simple chord progression. Uh, sometimes I do like I do something like that where I, but it's just walking up the uh, E. So it, it, it's just like kind of finishing the chord and then you're like resolving the A. So just a lot of neat little avenues to just um, emphasize what you're doing and then sticking the landing to where your destination was. Okay, now for the final section. The final section, I have to admit, I don't quite understand this section. Even when I remixed it and even when I uh, made a piano version of it, I kind of winged it to a degree. Um, the first half of it seems pretty clear, uh, but the second half, I kind of just did some stuff in pentatonic and just um, just felt it out. So take that with a grain of salt. So the, look, I'll tell you what to do. Okay, this is your homework. So I'm going to give you like um, a roadmap of what to do feel free to figure out what the song was to like listen to the song and like get it or like um fill it up because i i honestly do not know um but i can tell you that the chord progression is um the same as we had i believe in the second section um where we have f uh e to a and then f sharp diminished And that's like the rest of it. So during this part, I I know that we're like um, coming down like. And then I don't really have the flow at this uh, moment in time. Some stuff happens. <laughs> and then. And then it goes from there. So um, that's like an approach. All I all, all I can tell you is that it starts from like, it just starts from A and you're just kind of like going down the scale. So I hope that gave you all the pieces that you needed to construct together a, um, a full cover of the song, a, a full playthrough. And if you do learn how to play the song, please message me and like let me see it, let me know. Like I, I definitely want to see everyone else grow and, and um, try some stuff out. Like the soundtrack is awesome, so um, I mean, I just want to help other people learn how to play these songs because I, I love it. Uh, without any further ado, um, again, everything's in the description. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section on Discord, and. I am Will Fox, and I will see you guys next time for another character breakdown. Peace.